Strawberry Shortcake and Friends is one of the most iconic toy and product lines of the early 1980s. While Strawberry Shortcake could be found in stores all year round, Kenner and American Greetings was sure that her toys and products were front and center during the holiday season. While there have been many reboots and reimaginings of Strawberry Shortcake and her products over the last few decades, each with many holiday themed items available, we are going to focus on images associated with the original early 1980s product line. Many children of that time fondly remember Strawberry Shortcake, her friends, and her products all over the shelves and under the tree during the Christmas season. She was often coupled with iconic holiday imagery for many Christmases in the early 1980s, and her color scheme of red, green, white, and pink lent itself well to holiday designs. She was often shown on holiday cards trimming Christmas trees with her kitty friend Custard and hanging berry-themed ornaments. And images of her decorating Christmas trees was not only on cards and two-dimensional pictures, but full figural decorations depicted this holiday scene. A great example is a ceramic lighted Christmas tree with molded strawberry shortcake, Pupcake the dog, and Custard the cat included. She was often depicted as trimming a Christmas tree with her friends. A usual was her friend Huckleberry Pie with his pet friend Pupcake. Sometimes another friend, Raspberry Tart, would be shown joining in on the tree decorating fun. There are several examples of this on a few different cards and other forms of media. Of course, many of her other friends wanted to join in as well. This was also shown on holiday cards and other mediums. I don't think Custard the Cat likes Blueberry Muffin's Pet Mouse Cheesecake much by the look of his expression on the cover of this vintage Christmas themed coloring book. Maybe he's just having a bad day. Every once in a while things got out of hand at these Christmas tree decorating parties. The crowds got big. Strawberry Shortcake had to bake and cook for her guests. Luckily, as we will see, she really seems to like to bake holiday treats. This left her friends to get to work on the tree by themselves. Things might have gotten a little too wild for Apricot, and she is taking a little break. I guess Santa was pretty unhappy with the results and has decided to take this tree decorating thing into his own hands. Then again, he might be just dropping off some gifts and hanging some candy canes. Strawberry Shortcake is pretty good friends with the big man, so I hear. While Strawberry Shortcake herself seems to have preferred berry-themed ornaments on her tree, she had a variety of Christmas tree ornaments available to the gift-buying public. There were many Christmas tree ornaments available depicting this version of Strawberry Shortcake available throughout the years. There was even Strawberry Shortcake tree lights available to light the night. Strawberry Shortcake loved decorating trees so much she started decorating trees outside in the snowy landscape. Be careful with those lit candles on that tree, girls. Of course, decorating a tree outdoors might have just been a good excuse to get everyone outside for a little winter playtime. These stickers depicted Strawberry Shortcake and many of her friends enjoying wintertime activities while she and Custer decorated a tree. If she could get some of her friends to help her decorate, then she could spend time caroling and using that world-class singing voice. Huckleberry, I swear if you throw that snowball, I'm gonna... Let's take this caroling on the road and get some distance from Huckleberry. Anyway, it looks like it's starting to snow pretty hard, and the Christmas tree probably already caught on fire. A friend from the North Pole once told her that the best way to spread holiday cheer is singing loud for all to hear. Sometimes you just have to take a walk and enjoy the winter wonderland. Oh look, a little red bird. It probably reminds her of a strawberry. Most things did. It looks like Miss Shortcake is walking back home after buying some gifts. Huckleberry has probably decided to make amends by getting a new tree and helping her get it home. 
It seems that before she could make it home, Apple Dumpling convinced her to do a little sledding down a snowy hill. Don't go too fast there. Bingo. It was a great change from her usual methods of conveyance, which usually involved her tricycle or a giant snail. Maybe she can stop off and take a little time to build a snowman. Building a snowman was one of Strawberry Shortcake's favorite winter activities. She was depicted building snowmen in many different mediums, including this ceramic figurine. I guess Huck decided to help out with the construction. Not too bad. Here comes Apple Dumpling to bring us back the sled from the Walmart they crashed into. She can help build the snowman or decorate the new tree with plum pudding and apricot. Blueberry muffin, you're late. Okay, she went to go get a broom for the snowman. According to this tin that contains some vintage ornaments of strawberry shortcake, raspberry tart, and blueberry muffin. Blueberry muffin and plum pudding are going to help build the snowman too. And wait a minute, is plum pudding helping make more snowballs for huckleberry pie? Plum pudding and raspberry tart decide to put the finishing touches on the snowman while Blueberry Muffin went ice skating. Apple Dumpling really likes that sled. Everybody showed up to help decorate trees and build snowmen. Even Mr. Sun decided to pay a visit and watch the winter festivities. He probably is helping to keep an eye on the purple pie man. He was the only one tall enough to put the star on the top of the tree, but I am pretty sure he's up to something. Well, it's time to stop messing around and get these gifts back home. It looks like everybody is headed over to Strawberry Shortcake's house for some holiday fun, but not Purple Pie Man. We aren't that good of friends, buddy. It looks like Strawberry Shortcake was the first to reach her snow-covered berry house. Come on in, everyone. If I know Strawberry Shortcake, she's gonna bake up some holiday treats. Here is a close-up of Strawberry Shortcake welcoming her friends back to the house. Apple Dumpling is still on that sled, and it looks like Lemon Meringue and Butter Cookie are arriving in a sleigh. Rich people, am I right? I was right. She baked up some holiday treats and is offering them to her guests. This girl loves to bake. She is often seen baking treats and serving them to her friends. On this card, she is offering some holiday treats to Lemon Meringue. This card had a hidden surprise, and you could cut out chairs, tables, treats, and the girls as paper dolls for little ones to have extra fun. You could probably even use these with your strawberry shortcake dolls. Here are a couple of cards showing Strawberry Shortcake offering baked treats to Custard the Cat. Cool down, Custard. She's going as fast as she can. Here she is offering baked holiday treats to you. She really is a great friend. There are so many depictions of Strawberry Shortcake baking that I could not show them all. Bacon is what she did, y'all. And she loved to bake with her friends, especially during the holidays. Everyone would participate with cooking when delicious holiday treats were on the line. Custard is even shown getting his own little cake here. And it looks like little Apricot is learning to bake from the master. Wait a minute, is that some kind of veiled threat? There were even Christmas tree ornaments that depicted Strawberry Shortcake baking holiday treats with her impatient cat, Custard. And you could even get a holiday-themed Strawberry Shortcake apron for baking treats for yourself. It seems that sometimes she just wanted to let someone else do the cooking and headed to the local bakery to check out the holiday selection. And sometimes we all need to get a little side gig for extra cash during the holiday season. Strawberry Shortcake appears to have picked up some holiday work helping at the local sweet shop. Blueberry Muffin has stopped by to check out the sweets and Plum Pudding is buying some candy for stockings. 
Apple Dumpling either buy something or get out. After a hard day of work, it's time to head back to her strawberry house to decorate for Christmas. This ornament depicted the house decorated for the holidays. Custard needs to spend a little time outside thinking about what he's done. <laughs> Welcome back everyone. Let's decorate this berry house for the holidays. Don't worry, it's bigger on the inside. Come on everyone, let's look inside the windows like custard to see the decorating fun going on inside the warm house. Here they are looking out the window at custard. It's starting to snow. Hope they remember to bring him back inside. I think Strawberry Shortcake cut this album with John Denver. This Christmas tree ornament shows Custard coming back in the house to get warm. I hope he had time to think. Custard can join him by the warm fire and help hang stockings for Santa's visit. He always seems so picky about how she decorated the tree. And here is Angel Cake playing the harp for Souffle and Cherry Cuddler as angels in the clouds. I guess they were who Apricot was baking for. Strawberry Shortcake's friends were also shown in holiday cards of their own. Here is a card that depicted her friend Angel Cake. Here is a card showing her friend Butter Cookie and her pet Jelly Bear with a giant candy cane. After the festivities, and after all her friends have gone back to their food-themed homes for the night, Strawberry Shortcake quietly finishes putting up the last few decorations. Custard is still a little cold from his outside time of inward reflection and climbs into a stocking by the fire. It's a little after 11.30 and Strawberry Shortcake is plain tired. After a glass of milk and some cookies, she slips off to sleep while watching the fire in her favorite lazy boy chair. The stockings fell off the hearth and burnt up a while back. Well, she can't sleep in that chair all night. She will get into her bed, snuggle up, and dream of baking holiday treats, strawberry-themed clothes, and new stockings after saying her prayers. All heads bowed and all eyes closed, Custard. This card included a holiday-themed porcelain bell for you to decorate your own strawberry house with. Pupcake quietly sneaks in to steal her ornaments. Inflation is affecting everyone. So that's what's happening to the stockings, Mr. Grinch Cake. Maybe Strawberry Shortcake is dreaming of this card that allowed her to cut out holiday images and create a paper mobile. Or maybe she is dreaming of this card, which included paper clothes to cut out and dresses for Strawberry Shortcake. There were a lot of Christmas-themed paper clothes included with this card. That's some very nice clothing you got there. There was even a fireplace included for your paper dolls to warm herself beside during the cold winter nights. I guess Pupcake left some ornaments behind. And as she slept, through the force, Strawberry Shortcake would see many things. Other places, the future, the past, old friends long gone, maybe even Utah. Well, that's going to wrap up this episode of The Little Things. I hope you enjoyed this somewhat silly but nostalgic journey to see Strawberry Shortcake's holiday and Christmas themed adventures. In future episodes, we hope to continue to discuss Strawberry Shortcake and her many berry filled adventures. If you like these memories of the little things, please subscribe and stay in touch with future content. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you will continue along as we take a look back at the little things that made holidays great and the berry-themed past.